weaving in and out of rock outcrops and box. <laughs> <laughs> So we're out again, more Wainwright bagging, and today we're going for the big one. We're attempting six Wainwrights around the old man of Coniston, and would be seven, I guess, but we've already summited the old man of Coniston, and as that's like a, an out and back on this walk from Broom Fell, we're not going to do it again. You know, unless we feel sprightly and young when we get to uh, Brimfell. Anyway, be happy for you to tag along, see how far we get. Climbed out of Copper Mines Valley. It's Coniston down there. And the old man up there beyond all the quarry mess. Brimfell would be around the corner. So we just fiddle our way up through all these rocks and bogs and, and whatever else. <sighs> Blow in a bit. We should have done what we did last year and get up at the crack of dawn for this, I think. Nuts. There's lots of nuts. No Not much chocolate. <laughs> so we're at 420 metres. Mm. And the top is 762. And the next bit's properly steep. A few really starting to open out now. It's Windermere over there. South Lakes. Coniston. There's the sea down towards Overston. It's quite a complex ridge this. Weaving in and out of rock outcrops and box. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of different paths going all over the place. Yeah, right? people making up new paths every day by the look of it. But still, right in the breeze, which is really nice. Whether we'll think that later on, there's a bit of a black cloud over there. But uh, yeah, it's not due to rain. Light winds, ideal. As you can see, I've got me a uh, full pirate outfit on. Look at that then. Proper mountains. Proper rugged, rugged mountains. We're going to be going up all of them. It's a bit tricky. I race you. <laughs> Weather lamb. Weather lamb. Way. 125. <gasps> <laughs> and the view from here is just amazing. So, let's see. There's Windermere down there. High Street Range over the back. Helvenin Range over here. There's the Langdale Pikes. <sighs> Greencore Crags, Bow Fell. Right over the back with a whisper cloud on it. Scorfell Pike, Scorfell. And a little pointy one on the end where Linda falls over, slight side. Nice. It's actually, once you get up off the roads and do the steep bit at the beginning, it's not too bad getting up here at all. That's the first one out of a possible six done. Wasn't too bad. So now, so we're going over to there, right in front of us. You, I don't know if you can see the path sneaking up. That's the prison band to Swirl How, and then round to there to Great Cars, Great Fryer behind it, and then we come back pretty much to Swirl How, and then up to Brimfell. And then we're going to miss out the old man of Coniston and go down to uh, is it Goats Halls and then up to Dowcrack. So we've still got a big walk in front of us. But uh, the weather forecast is good, although it's, it's not warm up here. But 
it's good walking weather exactly. There's some very, very tiny people on top of that. That looks difficult. So this is the prison band, I think, but it is at least, it's the last uh, serious climb of the day, hopefully. God, those people look small. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, grief. One more. <laughs> yep. That's some climb up there. So this is Swirl How. And the next uh, target is over there. Great cars. Twenty-five. I think it's seven. There's quite a few people doing this walk. Well, look at it. So there's Swirl How, around there, Weatherlam, Bleed Tarn down in the valley. Lovely. That's uh, Grey Fire over there. Down, up, and then back. Grey Friar. Ah, yay. There's an ant on the top. <laughs> Hi, ant. Hi. Grey Friar 128. Right, we just stopped at uh, Grey Friar for lunch. And now I guess we're starting the Homeward leg, so to speak. This is the farthest point of our walk today. And uh, to show you where we've got to go, just if I get off these rocks a bit, hang on. We're reversing our steps down to the col between here and Great Cars, and then we're going to be following a path that goes along the side of that hill down into the col, up onto Brim Fell. We're not bothering with the old man of Coniston. Down into Goat's Halls and then up on Dow Crag, and that'll be our six for the day. And we'll go home and have at least a pint, if not more. Right, let's get a move on then. Just contouring round. Swirl how to save us going up to the top and back again. Heading for the call between Swirl How and Brim Fell. And there's the odd bit of really mucky, horrible bog on this path, but not to worry. It's Brim Fell up there, a bit of a pull, probably not too bad. Down over the other side and then up Dow Crag, which does look a bit of a pull. We look down the other side, you can see what's called Leavers, Leavers Halls, because there's Leavens Water down there. Brimfell, number five of the day. How many is it now? <laughs> 100. <laughs> You'll pass Karen, eh? <laughs> I'll work it out later. Brimfell. So over to Dow Crag and then down. It's still a long walk from the top of Dow Crag back yeah. to Coniston. Yeah. Yeah. We've got all over them, are we? Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> it's quite the view. <laughs> Try not to fall over in here. So, back down that way. After the top, we're going to take a walk along this ridge, down off the end, and back via Warner Scar. Just explaining to Linda how difficult it is using two walking sticks and carrying this camera. I've got to find some way of clipping it to somewhere so I don't have to have two in one hand. So every time I'm swapping around, I'm falling over. Ugh. Anyway, as I was saying, so we've been to the top of Dow Crag, that's our six for the day. Just got to walk home now. Bit of a rocky scramble along the ridge and then it turns into grass later on. Down over Buck Pike and down to the Warner Sky Road. And home, or at least gaff for the week. Yeah, we're just looking back at the top of Dow Crag and you can see over the back, grey fryer now and probably great cars in the cloud. It's quite a nasty black cloud going over. We're in sunshine now, we can feel the wind from that cloud hitting us. We're just at uh, Buck Pike now on the way down. We'll go past this and then I think it's Brain Pike after that before we hit the yeah, Warner Scar Road. So Brown Pike, I think that's the last one of the day. You can see, see looking down there, you can see the Warner Scar Road path coming in from goat's water. Coniston water in the background. It's a fair road to stroll back along that road but uh, okay we just ducked out of the wind into the shelter on Brown Pike just to well that's five minutes. Yeah. And I think I might as well wrap it up here. Uh, we've just got to go down over the, the brow down onto the road that I showed you just now and then walk along it back to the gaff. Enjoyed yourself? Yes. Six. It's been really good. Oh, it's been really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up if you think our efforts are worth your while. <laughs> see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>